The Visitor, an excerpt from The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This story is set in Germany during World War II, 1939 to 1945. Liesel, a 12-year-old German girl and her parents, Hans and Rosa Habermann, are hiding a Jewish man called Max Vandenberg in their basement, protecting him from capture at the hands of Hitler's Nazi party. Liesel saw a division of the NSDAP moving through the town close to where they were playing. From afar, the children watched. Rudy said, They are checking the basements to see if they are good enough to be air raid shelters. Instant dryness seized Liesel's mouth. That was where they kept Max hidden. Liesel wondered how she could get inside without looking suspicious. Think, she thought. That's it, she decided, but I have to make it real. Liesel collided with Claus, one of the biggest players on the field, with such force that the game stopped. Liesel held her graced knee with one hand. A party man came in to check if she was all right. Could you get my papa, Rudy? She asked her friend, ignoring the man. A minute later, Hans Huberman picked her up and went home. Once inside, Liesel whispered, Papa, the party, they are checking basements. Hans called for Rosa. They had a minute to come up with a plan. Almost right away, there was a knock at the door. Hans rushed to the basement door and threw a warning down the steps. When he returned, he spoke fast. Look, there is only one solution. Nothing. We don't even go down there. Not a care in the world. At the door, the party man explained, I need to inspect your basement to see if it's suitable for a shelter. Papa casually said, Certainly. The family man continued the minutes in tense despair. Papa ordered Liesel to fetch a book and for Rosa to start cooking. He decided the last thing they should do was sit around looking worried. The party man eventually came up and said, that basement was too shallow. He cheerfully wished them and left. The moment the party man was gone, they made their way to the basement, removing the sheets and paint cans that hid Max. Max was soaked in sweat and holding his rusty scissors like a knife. I am so sorry to put you through that. Rosa took the scissors. You're alive, she said. We all are, 